Hi, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum as well as DVD Architect. And here we are in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 15. Now, in version 15, when you start a new project, you get by default a timeline that includes not only a music track and an audio track and a video track and a text track, but also a picture in picture track. Now, longtime users of Vegas know that regardless of what these tracks are named, they're all essentially either audio or video tracks. In other words, I can put video on the text track. I can add as many video tracks as I need for my movie. But the picture in picture track is a little bit different. It is preset to create a picture in picture. Let me show you what I mean by that. So I have a video here of a man standing in front of a tree. And if I were to drag down this video clip of a road onto the picture in picture track, you'll see that by default, that video that is added to the picture in picture track is shrunk down to about 50% and then centered in the movie. Now I can control where that picture in picture falls and how large it is by clicking on the little effects button here on the track, the, the track effects button. And that of course opens up our track effects controller where I can control the size or the scale of that picture in picture as well as its location. And I can control its location by toggling open this little work spot here and I can just drag it wherever I want it in my picture. Also, you notice once it's selected, I get these little corner handles and I can actually drag on the corner handles and position that picture in picture wherever I want. Now that applies to the entire track. I don't know of a way to keep this track from appearing, but I have very little use for this track. If you want to remove that preset, you can of course open track effects by clicking on that FX button there that's on the picture in picture track and then selecting picture in picture and either unchecking it or simply removing the plugin. Or you can simply select the track and delete it and just add video tracks as needed. There is another way to add picture in picture and this picture in picture effect can be applied to individual events, which is much more my style. So if I were to add this video clip here of the road to an upper video track, which in this case is called text, but it's still a video track. I can, let me just trim it here so it's the same length as the other video. I can click on the event effects button, or I can simply go to the video effects tab here in the upper left of the program, and I can select picture in picture. Now this is a brand new effect that has been added here in version 15. I'll just drag it right down onto the event. And when I do, I get basically the same control. Let's move the playhead onto the picture so I can see what's going on. I get basically the same control and I can toggle open location as before. And once I have that effect selected here in this panel, I can change its settings either by moving the sliders or changing the numbers on the panel that popped up, or I can simply drag it there in the window. It's very nice. It's a nice intuitive way to apply a picture in picture. There was nothing quite like this in previous versions of Vegas Movie Studio. So it's a nice addition, depending on whether you want to apply it to the entire track, have it preset to the track, or if you want to apply it to an individual event. Now, if you want to know more about all these tools, including new tools, as well as classic old tools, you'll want to check out the many tips and tutorials we have here at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about the program, how everything works, along with a couple of tips and tricks, you want to check out our moviepix.com guide to Vegas Movie Studio 15 Platinum. It is available at amazon.com and of course right here at the MoviePix store. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.